So Peter, uh, here we are, uh, having a look at your boat after 12 months. Just give us a bit of a rundown uh, on your boat. You've had your boat how long now? I've had the boat for about two years. I've rebuilt it, so I've painted it up. Once we painted it, got it in the water, got motors on it, and then started seeing corrosion coming through everywhere. Yeah. So when you got your boat, what sort of state was it in? Um, oh, it was terrible. I had to sandblast it all back and repaint it from scratch. Yeah, so I got the boat. I sandblasted it all back to bare aluminium and then started rebuilding it from there. So then, you know, primed it with edge primer, two coats of that, three coats of colour with urethane marine two-pack paint. And that's where, we are, that's where we ended up. And then fitted all the accessories to it. Twelve months after that, fitted motors to it and got water tested. Yeah. So fair to say you've made a pretty good job of it. You've got it back to bare alloy. You've done it all right. You've used the right marine paint, everything else. So it should have been a good job. Should that's have looked right. after the paint for, uh, after the boat for a number of years. Yeah, that's right. And then, then about two months after that being in the water, we started seeing corrosion coming out of some other points where the stainless steel and the aluminium meets. Yeah, when, when you say corrosion, what did you see? Sort of spidering oh, under yeah, the paint? or? Yeah, so spidering under the paint, bubbling up. You know where the chips were and that the paint was lifting yeah that's right yeah so, as soon as issues. i put it in the water that's when we started seeing issues straight away within within two months it started coming out i reckon right so where did you see it sort of uh, where you had differing uh, metals yeah, like the, the stainless alloy and, steel um, yeah where the aluminium and stainless steel touched that yeah. was the main concerns or yeah. if there's any new chips from processing or fitting accessories to it yeah. that's where it all come out from yeah your rod holders and, yeah. and all around those areas that's it, yeah. So I just started spidering under the paint and that's it, yeah. And stone chips, what was happening with those? I oh, just the salt would get under them, lift them up, and they'd just get bigger. Yeah. So once the paint was gone, the salt got in behind the existing paint yeah. and, and then spidered, spidered, and, and started to destroy itself. So, yeah. Yeah. And uh, no doubt that was a little disappointing for you after spending all that time and effort and money uh, painting the boat to start with, seeing it starting to, to fall apart in front of your eyes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, when it all starts bubbling, that's not the right thing to see after you spend a lot of hard hard work onto it. So, yeah. Once we painted it, got it in the water, got motors on it, and then started seeing corrosion coming through everywhere. So then I stopped in and seen Jeff, and he goes, "You might have a solution for it." So we said, "We'll give it a go." And twelve months to today, he's come around and had a look, and we've gone over it with a ruler and checked it out with fine tooth comb, and then the corrosion's basically slowed right down to nothing but no more existing corrosion has come out since today. Yeah. So since we put the system on you know, you've had a few more stone chips and cracks, oh. cracks and <laughs> scratches and... <laughs> Plenty of scratches and stone chips and that you're always going to get that when you're yeah. out in the boat. And you're but still seeing that same thing with the spidering under the paint? or No, nah, not anymore, it's all stopped. Yeah, so it's, it's just holding those areas That's and it, yeah. stopping it from developing. Yeah, where before without the system on it, it would be straight away. Yeah. It'd come out. Yeah. So when you get a stone chip now, uh, it goes back to bare alloy. That's and, right. And just stays that way. Yeah, and yeah. doesn't get any worse or change yeah. anything. So not like before. It's not spidering as it, as it did before. That's right, yeah. Yeah. So fair to say you're a happy man? I am very happy. <laughs> Excellent. And it works very well. Excellent. Well, thanks for your time today, Peter. Uh, it's uh, great to be down here with you, and uh, we hope uh, you see many more fishing trips. No, no problem at all. Cheers. Thanks for that, Jeff. <laughs>
Um, can you just run us through a little bit of um, what the issues were, or how, how your boat was when you first bought it, or what you did to the boat, and then some of the things that you've seen from there? Yeah, so I got the boat, I sandblasted it all back to bare aluminium, and then started rebuilding it from there, so then, you know, primed it with edge primer, two coats of that, three coats of colour with urethane marine two-pack paint, and that's where we are. That's where we ended up, and then fitted all the accessories to it, and then, say, you know, 12 months after that, fitted motors to it and got water tested. Yeah, so fair to say you've made a pretty good job of it. You've got it back to bare alloy, you've done it all right, you've used the right marine paint, everything else, so it should have been a good job. Should that's have looked right. after the paint, for, uh, after the boat for a number of years. Yeah, that's right. And then, then about two months after that being in the water, we started seeing corrosion coming out of some other points where the stainless steel and the aluminium meets. Yeah, when, when you say corrosion, what did you see? Sort of spidering oh, under yeah, the paint or...? Yeah, so spidering under the paint, bubbling up, you know, where the chips were and that the paint was lifting. Yeah. And uh, no doubt that was a little disappointing for you after spending all that time and effort and money uh, painting the boat to start with, seeing it starting to, to fall apart in front of your eyes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, when it all starts bubbling, that's not the right thing to see after you spend a lot of hard hard work onto it. So yeah, 